everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you something very strange. So I got a lot of people asking me to do more wrap videos. So today I'm going to be doing more wrap videos. So I've got my raddies over there and they're just having a nap. This is like their nap area. So they really like to sleep here throughout the day. So they're on the bed sleeping most of the time. So people bitching about my cage. They're only in it at night time because obviously I can't have them running around my room eating cables. Now, the first thing that we found out a few months ago, which was out of the ordinary, and we were completely shocked about this, which is why the title is named this, is I like to say she's gender fluid. I know that's really weird. I first called her transgender, but then I was like, but wait, she didn't actually transition. Well, she did transition naturally, but she didn't get like an operation or anything, but she was a full girl. And then after a year old, she turned into a mix of both. Basically her hair fell out because she had hormone issues. The vet told me this, so it's confirmed. She is intersex. She is has a hormone imbalance. So she has a little bit of testosterone. She can't have children. She never could have children, but it was only more noticeable when she got older. She gets something that only male rats get, which is the weirdest thing. And it's very rare for females to get. And it's called buck race. I will insert a photo like here if you want to see what that nasty thing is. It's basically grease that comes out of male rats skin. And it's, um, it's like a yellow oil wax. And the vet said, yeah, she definitely has buck grease. And I was like, bitch, what? Like, did I have a meal the whole time? I'm going to show you her sister right now. So let me get her sister for you. Okay, so this is her sister. And if Nia was a normal hooded rat, this is what she would look like. She would have full fur, healthy looking, silky. Can you see her? She is so beautiful. Mom, please stop. Beautiful Mitzi. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see her for full, like, you know, experience. You know, she's wrinkly, pink, and you can see the balding around her face and coming down. And the buck races down here. Nia is two years old in a few months, and that's pretty average for a rat's life expectancy. Expensity. I'm pretty nervous around this time, but I have faith that she is okay. I know she isn't going to live very long because her genetic problems, she swells up on her face and her hands because she has kidney failure. So she started changing around seven months old, started losing fur, her eyes started to bulge a little bit more, she got more feisty, she was wrinklier, everything changed and I didn't know what was happening. We got her checked at the vet and she has no mites, which is a cause. She's not stressed because she lives like a luxurious life. We don't know what's wrong. We do maybe think she might be stressed because of her illness, but apart from that, we don't know what's wrong with her. The vet was concerned, like why was she losing her fur? Why did she look so strange? And she really does look strange, like no other rat looks like this. It's not normal for rats to look like this. I got her in Pets at Home, so bitch, Pets at Home, you've got a lot of issues. Like, are you inbreeding your rats? There's no way this should happen with a normal little rat. I just, I don't understand. Okay, so I'm reading this on the NHS, and this is for women. And it just says basically raised levels of testosterone, which I said already. Raised levels of luteinizing hormone. I don't know, what, I can't say that word, sorry. Luteinizing. Genetics, that's what I said at the start of my video. There must have been something wrong with her genetics because that's it. There's very little known about it and nothing can be done to cure it. And that's just the way it is. Tell me your stories in the comments about your pet's problems, your strange problems that have happened with your pets. Did you get a girl and it changed 
you know, it turned out to be a boy or did you get a boy, it turned out to be a girl. I hope that you like my little story time. It's a bit slow and a bit random, but I just wanted to let everyone know my problem because it is a quite rare problem that Nia has and maybe people are in the same situation with their animals having problems. So thank you for watching our video about Nia and her problems. But you know, she's living life, she doesn't care and she's okay. Bye guys. Ha <laughs> ha